New at 11, allegations of racism at a local daycare. An image appearing to show white students being fed first while black children wait to eat. Thanks for joining us. I'm Karen Greer. And I'm Rick Volbaum. And tonight, the parent company is taking action, severing ties with the daycare amid the controversy. All of this happening at Kids or Kids Learning Academy near downtown Roswell. CBS 46's Jamie Kennedy is live there tonight after speaking exclusively to the company president and a child's father. Jamie, what did you learn? Well, Karen, I was able to speak to all parties involved in this. Now, this has all happened in less than 24 hours for this daycare center, which consequently from all of this has now been sent adrift from the franchise. Accusations of racism at a Roswell daycare explode online. They were skipping all of the black kids, it seemed like. A family says they saw it happen while checking in on their two-year-old through a video live stream for the Kids Are Kids Roswell location. All the white kids got their lunch and all the black kids had to wait. So the stunned family took a screenshot. From the videos and the pictures that we saw today, I mean, we are just completely disturbed and went straight to the daycare to confront the staff. Well, mom went and picked them up immediately. And the director said, I'm not really sure because I'm not in the classroom. She said, maybe it's a dietary thing. The family doesn't buy that. They shared the story and snapshot online, igniting a social media firestorm. I wish that everybody would be able to see the, the video in its entirety first and not just the snapshot. David Vincent says he's viewed the entire video in question. His company issued the family an apology and says they will use the incident as a training tool. We wanted to make sure that our families know that this is not what we are about. After talking to the daycare owner today, the company is severing ties with the Roswell branch. And perception, unfortunately, is reality. And with the cancer culture, I mean, unfortunately, it's the perception. As for the daycare, saying in a statement, we know the act was random and the photo doesn't show the entire room. We believe if the parents viewed the videos, they would understand. I wish they could see the compassion we have. Now, when I spoke to the owners of the franchise, I asked if I could see the video. They said for privacy reasons, they are not able to show me that video in its entirety or any of that video. I've also spoken to, when I spoke to the president, he said that the whole issue has created security issues for a number of locations, meaning that even death threats have been put out to a different locations. Live in Roswell, Jamie Kennedy, CBS 46 